so introduction. <laughs> well, that's <yes. laughs> So it was about 2 a.m. <laughs> Wait, you're recording this shit? No. Okay. You better say what you gotta say before he starts recording. That's true. That's true, Fisa. So, guys. <laughs> well, we met out one night. Didn't work out between us, but we still remain friends. So, like, he ended up getting into real estate. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, my name is David, everyone. Sorry that you all have to sit in this class. I remember when I did, and it kind of sucked. So anyway, um, real estate. So everybody is in here for to get their real estate license, right? Yeah. To sell real estate or to get into it, like, how many people intend on like selling real estate once they get licensed? And what does everybody else intend to do? Just like invest, maybe. Yeah. All right. Well, I got into the business when. Um, my kid was born seven years ago, because at the time I was just a single parent, and I was like, I used I used to be a hairdresser, and I was like, well, where what can I get into? Um, I had my hairdresser's license, barber's license. I, I I was like, you know, business partners and stuff like that. But that's a lot of weekends, you know. So I was like, what can I get into where I'll make money? I see my son a lot, and if you follow me on Facebook, like I hang out with my son all the time. And still make money and have a business, you know, where like anytime my kid has a vacation, he's seven now, so I'm going to cut that out. But yeah, I yeah. used to, <laughs> I used to take that week off, you know what I mean? Like, you know, Fabian knows me, so I'm always hanging out with my kid, you know? Um, so I, last time when I was in class was seven years ago, and the crap they talked about was okay, but it wasn't really like stuff you can use when you get into real estate you know what i mean so if anybody has a couple questions i can answer those and then i can go through you know what i think real estate is going to be like for most people you know anyone so when you first started with your newborn what were your weeks like you know when were you working i worked a lot i feel like i'm a lazy person now <laughs> i worked a lot when i first started um every day except for usually sundays you know, but um, in the beginning, I even worked Sundays. I would do open houses, you know, so I did, I did work a lot in the beginning. But you have to with anything that you're going to dive into, you know, you kind of got to put a lot of energy up front. So you stopped doing hair altogether and just jumped right into it? Three years into real estate, I stopped doing hair because the first year, you know, everybody tells me like, oh, you're so good at talking, but everybody's good at talking, right? Oh, you're, you're a hairdresser, you're so good at talking, you're gonna, you, you might as well just go sell real estate. If it was just like talking, but the, now you're like talking to people about selling their house or like they're like, your commission 60 grand, I don't wanna pay 60 grand. Or, you know, so it's not just talking, it becomes a lot more, you know, and there's a lot more pressure and stuff like that, you know? But I don't work as much as I used to now, I used to work seven days a week. So. But you do have to give it a lot, you know? Anybody, anything else? All right, well, let's get into it. So um, the way it usually goes, once you pass your test, after you guys are done with this class, you're gonna go take your test. I just wanna encourage everybody here, just don't quit. It took me six times, so no like rocket scientists, you know? Um, first three times I passed one part, and then the next three times I passed the other part. And as you can imagine, you all have families. When you come out and you fail on your fifth time, <laughs> I haven't met anybody that failed that much. But when you come out and you fail on your fifth time, I called like my family members and I was like, I don't freaking know, you know? And they, um, and one of my family members said something like just negative and I just broke down in my car and then I went and I got my license. First year we sold one house, because it's a tough business, it's not an easy thing. Some people, yeah, it'll click for, but most people it probably will not, because there's a lot of mental barriers that you have to overcome if you're gonna be, if you're gonna sell a lot, you know? Because it is sales, and people do look at you like you're a salesperson. And you can, you can approach the business like that, or like me, I just act like a regular person, you see my YouTube videos, I'm myself all the way across the board, and I just think that's what really works. 
because you get into this business and people start saying like you have to be a certain way you have to dress a certain way Unless you have a lot of experience in sales or just anything that'll help you, you know, because you got to figure out what you're going to sell, how you're going to sell it, what areas you're going to sell it in. And if you come into the business, this is obviously after you get licensed, and when you, you come into the business after you get licensed, and if you plan out how you want to do the business, you probably go a lot further. The other thing I would suggest, we never did it because we're just stubborn, you know? We're, we're just like, hey, we'll do it ourselves and we'll figure it out, but we're really relentless and like we'll keep going, you know? But it's a tough business, so what I would do is, if you can join like a top team, you know, if somebody's doing over, say, 50 units, that's pretty much, anybody who does 50 units in the business is getting paid pretty well, we'll say, you know what I mean? Like money's pretty much not gonna be as much of an issue unless you go to like Fox or whatever. So you get into the business and then you basically just have to kinda, if you can be next to somebody who's super successful and selling like a lot of houses, even if you have to take, you know, in the beginning the commissions of